he knew he was in big trouble. I think he borrowed more than most other prudent real estate people. He had extended himself to the Trump shuttle, to a yacht, to a helicopter, and to a lot of things which weren't generating any cash flow, and he had to support his lifestyle. So he was in trouble. When the economy and the real estate market plummeted in 1990, Attorney Alan Pomerantz says Trump owed $4 billion to his debtors, including that billion dollars for which he was personally responsible. Because he personally guaranteed so much debt, the leverage shifted dramatically over to the banks because it was no longer an issue of a bank and a piece of real estate. It was a bank and Donald Trump's actual survival. Trump owed money all over town to 72 banks in all. Pomerantz represented them as a group. How close was he to going personally bankrupt? Very. Trump makes a point of saying he never went personally bankrupt. But there's a reason why the banks decided to keep Trump whole. We made the decision that he would be worth more alive to us than dead. Dead meaning in bankruptcy. We don't want him to be in bankruptcy. We want him out in the world selling these assets for us. So you wanted him alive because he was a salesman and could best sell his own properties. That's correct. We kept him alive to help us forecast where do you see it going 50,000 by the end of the year by the end of the year correct now in January were you a little bit wobbly about that prediction no, <laughs> no it's my job to make predictions whether or not they're right or wrong it doesn't really matter to me oh so you acknowledge them <laughs> you were totally off base Parker welcome to the show <laughs> you could be one of us I yeah. guess <laughs> why is that well, I'm a, I'm a volatility trader at the end of the day. Uh, we make our money if it's volatile. If it goes up, if it goes down. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And uh, thanks for liking and subscribing, guys. I got rave reviews on the previous video. Um, decoded. And uh, basically, of course, Donald Trump was a quarter. Remember, he works for the banks. So nothing was going to happen anyway. Remember, all presidents worked for the bank since Kennedy. And um, we have, I want to go over three subjects here. We have Bach, CME, and we have BitMEX. So, Bach this month uh, ends on the 19th. So, it ends in 13 days. And then I think CME ends on the 28th. So I just want to make sure that you understand these dates. So therefore, you know how to position it. Now, we know last last month when Bach was ending, we got a little leg up. And then, of course, it went down. What I'm looking at this time is that it's going to be the opposite. This time we're going to get a leg down, but then we're going to slowly creep back up to where the level is at that we are at now. And then we have CME and then we have BitMEX. And I think they fall on the same day. So that's going to be very interesting. So you don't want to be in a position um, where you can lose out, uh, you know, to use y'all's terminology, wreck. Of course, I'm an older guy. But um, you don't want to get yourself out there. Just like I said, uh, the 28th is CME. And it's like I said, they always do it a few days before or a few days after. But I know with Bach, just like I stated, most likely we'll have a leg down. And then we'll slowly push back up. And then basically we'll see uh, CME and then BitMEX. And just like I said, basically, most likely, BitMEX is definitely going to short. Because remember what Arthur Haynes said, we make money whether it go up or go down. And remember, that's the, man, that's the mentality that you have to have. Don't forget, I have the swing trading video you can go to. I gave you step-by-step -step directions. Uh, so therefore, you can do your swing trading. We're going to be in a swinging, remember I said, up until May. And then May, of course, we're still going to go up and down. 
Crypto is just like stocks. It's going to go up. It's going to go down. Look at stocks right now. Remember, the Fed is just pumping stocks left and right. But it still goes up and it still goes down. But it has an upward trajectory. This is the same thing that's going to happen with Bitcoin. You're going to go up. You're going to go down. But we're going to have an upward going up trajectory once May hits. So yes, so therefore, if you have a little bag that you can play with and you can swing trade, of course, you still want to hold your money. You want to hold them bags that you have that you saved up. Because yes, we're going to start hitting all-time highs going towards the end of the year. But for right now, if you're in the crypto space and you want to make some money, you got a bag, a little bag there that you know you can uh, swing trade with, do it. That's how you, you know, that's the whole point. The same thing as the stock market. Stock market goes up and down all the time. But the fact is that you have to be in there to win. I went over Tesla. I went over Amazon. I went over Netflix. I told you these are fake companies. Stop, you know, the Fed is pumping, buying their stock. That's all, that's all it's going. You know, so therefore we have to play the game. Have to play the game. Uh, but that's all I have for you today. Just like I stated we have the bot coming up. We have CME. Of course, towards the end of the um, month. But I really wanted to touch on uh, bot because uh, bot is in 13 days. So get yourself possession. As like I said, most likely we're going to have a leg down with bot. As I said, they normally do it either a few days or a few days after. But then we're going to go right back to our, you know, slowly creep back up. Everything's going to be a creep right now. Um, also with uh, the Fed, of course, now the Fed is making announcements. Hey, we're going digital. We already knew this. We know what they're doing. We know the plan. Remember, this is all rigged. It's all part of the game. The reason why they had that Trump trial is to what? Distract you. It was no way the Senate was going to get them out of there. Anybody who, uh, you know, in reality understands that. That was just a distraction. Do not, and I mean, do not get distracted, guys. Our job is to make money. There's plenty of money for everybody. Let's make it. Let's have some fun doing it. But that's all I have for you today. Please, uh, just like I said, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. I have Binance, uh, Coinbase, Bitru, links at the bottom. Robinhood. Uh, basically for your chip stocks remember everything is going to have a chip in it don't forget about the book crypto teacher on amazon and then also you can get the book on btcteacher.com and y'all have a wonderful day